shoplifting, jaywalking. <laughs> Inspector Grimm, Raymond's in danger. There's an armed man at the front desk. An armed man. <laughs> this is it. The sharp end at last. <laughs> I'll unlock the gun cupboard. You lot, cover me with the camera as I run in. Make sure you get my full expression as I shout, Please freeze! Boy, you hold the torch. Do you think I should take off my shirt? Have you ever really thought about what television fame means, sir? Oh, yes, it's fine for a while. You and your scatter cushions in Hello! magazine. <laughs> the chance to talk publicly about your dandruff. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> but then suddenly the tide turns against you. Suddenly Richard and Judy are no longer taking your calls. <laughs> you find yourself in carpet warehouses shouting, Open New Year's Day. <laughs> and then just when you thought you could sink no lower, you appear at the door of Noel's mansion and crinkly. <laughs> No, no, no! And hand over the gun. <laughs> freeze! 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 <laughs> the crisis is over, Grim. I talked him round. Oh, that's a rusty old service revolver. It's completely harmless. Yes, I dug it out with my root vegetables. I thought I might hand it in to your weapons, Amnesty. I thought I might get uh, featured on the news. A non-functioning firearm, and I took my shirt off for that. Blimey! <laughs> so, you couldn't have known foul eye. Can't deny you showed a lot of bottle. You were incredible, Raymond. And on TV, too. <laughs> You'll be a hero. Oh, no, really. I, uh, I'd far rather no fuss was made, honestly. It's... Well, you're in luck. We didn't get any of it. Inspector Grimm insisted on us covering him exclusively. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. It's probably for the best. Um, unless... Unless you'd like to do it again, sir, for the cameras. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he'd like to do it again. Yes, he'd like to do it again. And then after that, I could show you my disgustingly shaped turnip. 